like I think that you've really helped produce that music community that we're talking about. I, I think you had a, a, a big part in it because this area, if it wasn't for people, you know, trading and slanging guitars like you talk about and uh, you know, coming together and meeting people and networking and all that, I don't know what the music community around here would be like if it wasn't for Mountain Music Exchange. Well, I appreciate that. I think I, I would like to think we played some some kind of part, uh, and we are constantly working on on being a part of that scene and and uh, creating a, a vibe and an atmosphere where people can hang and trade guitars and and talk about rock and roll and love Pink Floyd records and and all that stuff. You know, it's a life's crazy, and we're all working, we're all doing things. You know, life will beat you beat you down, but the uh, rock and roll and a guitar store is always a getaway, a, yeah. a, a way around, you know, outside of your mundane that we all are in sometimes, you know. Yeah. So just a, a chance to give that to people and let them come in and hang. And I love it. I love it. It's been my dream since I was a kid. And yeah. Now I get to live it. So I'm excited. So, so what started Mountain Music Exchange? What started that whole career path for you? Well, I sold guitars my whole life, so I was always buying and selling guitars, and I worked for other companies, and I'd quit doing that, and I was uh, in advertising, which wow. is crazy as that is, but, uh, and I was doing okay, but I started slinging guitars on the side, so I'd buy a couple, put them in my trunk, and, you know, sell them, and yeah. buy a few more, and sell them, and then me and Tony were like, well, why don't we set up on a Saturday and uh, let people come in and hang? So like, okay, I work Monday through Friday. Saturday we'll let people hang out and trade some guitars. And we did that for a while. And then I called the guys and I was like, look, we need to do this. I think I can quit my job and we can make a living. You know, I can, I can pull yeah. this off. And I was like, you know, sweat, and you know, what am I going to do if it don't work? Uh, you know, I'm yeah, just slinging a few guitars at a studio, you know. So we uh, pitched in some cash, went and bought some used guitars, and I put in my notice and was like, let's go for it. And uh, we just started hustling. Wow. Buy a guitar, sell it. Buy another one, sell it. Buy another one, sell it. Then you have enough to buy two and sell it. And then you just keep keep climbing and keep hanging and it just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger how long have y'all been in business now for six years in the new building so we're uh going on our 10 year anniversary nice so man. i quit my job in probably 2013 and we put the hammer down so yeah we're going on 10 years we'll have a big shindig next year i'm sure that's for cool, that 10 year anniversary and we've got we've got such a good crew you know most of the guys like jason started in that little room and he was working like one day a week and you know yeah. we got jordan we ended up getting jordan from another music store and he was working a couple days and i mean we were hustling yeah i mean like what are we going to do to make a living today you know every day like okay we gotta sell this much we can do it, you know, Yeah, putting the hammer down. And so some of those guys have been with us since then. Wow. And uh, Joni came along, and we've got a couple new ones, but uh, we've added people. But, but, yeah, usually when they jump on at the music store, they hang in there for a while. So, you, you, Well, you've got people there, man, that the passion is there. You know, yeah. like you – some people they like music, and some people are passionate right. about music, and that's the employees that you have, man. Yeah, well, they're the A team. I'm so thankful. They are unbelievable. I mean, I'd still be slinging a couple guitars out of my trunk without them. You know, yeah, they're the they are the A team. So. I can't believe you do, used to do it just out of the trunk of your car. You're almost like a guitar drug dealer. It sounds like. Yes, yes, a PT cruiser. Purple PT Cruiser, a <laughs> couple guitars in the back. We, me and Tony would drive. We would find somebody with one for sale. 
we would drive by it, and then we'd be like, do you have anything else we can buy? And so we would just buy them out of houses, and we would drive to Ashland and meet people at gas stations and wow. and then truck it back here and, like, put, you know, Facebook, I got a guitar for sale, you know, just hustling hard yeah. as we could, right? I mean, me and Tony's been in some shady, shady, you know, like, houses with, like, dogs and stuff. We're like, whoa, we just oh, need, man. you know. We need the guitar. But he won't buy. It. Are you sure? <laughs> that's what they all say. Yeah. He's got teeth, don't he? Yeah, yeah. exactly. You know, that's so fun though. I, I even you know, me and Tony talk about it sometimes. We miss those early early days. It's like yeah. you know, calling up, Hey, I heard you had a guitar for sale. Can we meet you at you know, the Harold Red Light will buy it, you know. Yeah. You pull in in a PT cruiser and the, Trunk opens. And this is before the days of, you know, like Pikeville trading sale on Facebook. Or oh, yeah. Something like that. It was just word that. of mouth. Yeah, yeah. So there was the internet. So we were, we were heavy into it. And I mean, we were just digging in. But, you know, that's so fun. It, it's just like, it's a kind of a caveman primitive thing. I'll trade you this for that. You know, I'll trade you, yeah. you know, food for what it, it it's just the same thing just in a modern it's just so cool to be mm-hmm. able you know i got this guitar i'll trade you for your guitar and not only is it you know making a living or that but it's like this guitar is going to make somebody play better or or become an artist or yeah it, it's not like we're selling washing machines we're selling something that people love you know, a new yeah. Fender guitar will change somebody's world, you know. That's another thing that I was going to bring up, you know. Uh, uh, imagine what y'all are responsible for. You're you're literally changing people's lives or making their careers happen as a musician. I mean, it's that, that must be something very wild to think about. D- to put guitars in hands. You know what I love? Uh, through the pandemic... So many people have started playing. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing kids come in and get that, you know, they're watching YouTube videos, and then they come in and get that first guitar. They already know what they want because they see it online. You know, they're they're like, my idol plays a Fender Strat. I got to have a Fender Strat. So they come in, and they get to put their hands on that Strat or that Telecaster or whatever for that first time. And you're like, that could be, you know, the next Tyler Childers or the next, you know, Chris Stapleton. Yeah. I mean, you get to watch that first touch of a, wow. a guitar. And that's mm. that's kind of special. Man. So we really love that. And through the pandemic, a lot of kids have taken that up. So it's kind of on high demand, you know, guitars and things. And we could be watching, the, you know, because – like down to the river, we're old guys, and you know we're recreating a, this album. But there's kids that are going to make the next one if there is one. Yeah. It could be those kids, and that is special. That is cool. 